This is a model of a lymph node, and it looks like Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. to me. Uh, lymph is brought in through these vessels over here. These are called afferent vessels, A-F-F-E-R-E-N-T, because they're going towards the lymph node. And you can tell because these valves right here are pointing in the direction of the lymph flow, so the lymph can't go back, back that way. We see a capsule which is made out of dense irregular connective tissue around the outside here and some extensions of the capsule into the middle of the lymph node. These are called trabeculae and a trabeculum is just a branch. So these are just branches. They're made out of the same stuff, uh, dense irregular connective tissue. Now we've got two basic zones. There's the cortex, which is from the stick outward. So this region is cortex. Then you get to this middle region here and that's the medulla. Now, the cortex and the medulla both have loads of macrophages, uh, and, but the cortex has these little pockets, these little pink things here. These are called nodules. And inside the nodules are germinal centers where B cells, B lymphocytes proliferate, they multiply. Uh, but the beauty of a lymph node is that it, you, you bring all of this potentially uh, infected lymph into the node where there's t you know tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of of uh of immune system cells there to either eat them or create antibodies against them or uh, what have you now when the lymph is filtered by the way the lymph nodes if you had to say what's the main filtering site of your lymphatic system it would be these lymph nodes uh, lymph nodes then pass that filtered lymph out through an efferent vessel, which means going away from it.